In this tutorial, we're going to tackle another JavaScript problem. And in this problem, I want to use the sort method of arrays. So we're going to look at how we can sort objects in an array. But we will be using a primary sort and a secondary sort. Before we get started, make sure to click that bell button and subscribe. And remember the discount links to all my courses in the description. Also, my website has a list of all the tutorials I've published. There are over 200 now. The description also has a link to Patreon if you'd like to support this channel and get access to the code files. There is also a link to earn script. Remember, you can use script to get free courses. Now, I've done a tutorial on the sort method before, and I'll link to that. But we're accomplishing a couple of new things with this JavaScript problem. We're going to sort objects within an array. And we're also going to apply a primary sort and a secondary sort. Now, once again, as with all JavaScript problems, post your own solutions. There are some things that can be improved about my solution, so don't hesitate to post what you have come up with. Others can learn from that, and I love seeing the different approaches as well. All right, let's look at the problem and the sample data I'm going to be using for this particular JavaScript problem. All right, so here's the sample data. It's an array of objects. Each object has a first name, last name, age, and a score. And I've done about five of them is all. Just enough to be able to see that things are working somewhat correctly. Now, here's what I want to do. Is I want to create a function that will sort an array of objects. And with the function, you can specify a primary sort and a secondary sort. So the idea will be that the function will allow you to pass in an array. It will allow you to pass in the property that you want to sort that you want to do the initial sort on and then a property that you want to do the secondary sort on so that's what we want to accomplish here and as you can see I purposely made the last names here the same for three of them and for two of them uh, so that we can check out this primary and secondary sort that's what I'm going to be using there all right, so let's set up this method. So const, I'm going to call it sort array objs for sort array objects. All right, now as I said, we're going to pass in an array. We're going to pass in two properties. The first property will be the first thing it sorts on. The second property will be the second thing it sorts on. So we've got that set up in the function. Now, I want to achieve a new array. I'm going to set that in the sort1 variable. As you're familiar, those of you that are familiar with sort, you know that sort sorts the array in place. It doesn't return a new array of sorted values. It takes the array you're acting on, and it changes the order of the values there. So it mutates that array. I don't want to do that. So before I start the sort process, I'm going to use the spread operator to create a new array out of the one that's passed in. So there we have a new array so that we're not upsetting the one that will get passed in and that will get assigned to this variable. But we also want to sort it. So I'm going to enter the sort method. Now a lot of people that use sort, this is where they end and they may not even know that with the sort method you can pass in a function sort is a higher order method and so it allows you to pass in a function and what that function does is that determines how things are sorted so that's what we're going to do here because we want to control what is happening with the sort so I'm going to set up that function and the function should have two parameters it receives two things from the array at once and then we need to compare those two things and we need to return either a value below zero a zero or a value above zero. Now what that means to the sort method, if we return a value below zero, that means that A will come before B in the sort method. If we return a zero, they're the same. If we return something greater than zero, then B will come before A. And so that's what we want to set up with this function. Like I said, I have a tutorial on sort that I will link to if you need to learn a bit more about it. All right, so I'm going to use an arrow function here. And I'm using curly braces because this function is going to have multiple lines in it. 
Now I'm going to be using an if statement to check to see if the properties we need to sort on are equal to one another and whatnot. I'm also going to be using the ternary operator. And so outside, the out, outer portion is going to be an if statement. I find that if I mix too many ternary operators together, it can become difficult to read. And that's something that I like to avoid. I think it's important that your code is easy to read and to reason about. So here is the outer if statement. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to check the first property. This is how we can access the first property of object A. So what's happening here as we go through this array, as we sort it, objects are going to be placed inside of the variables A and B. These objects here that are a part of the array that is passed in. And so on that first object, I want to check to see if the first property passed in. Let's see if that is equal to the first property of the B object. And I'm purposely using a double equals just in case coercion might be helpful here. That may be something that you want to avoid, but I'm going to use it in this case. And here is our if statement. Now what are we going to do if they're equal? Well, if they're equal to one another, then we want to determine the sort order based upon the second property. That's why I'm checking to see if they're equal. If they're not equal, well then the sort order is determined by that first property. So what we'll want to do then is return. Remember, we need to return something lower than 0, 0, or greater than 0. Lower than 0 if A comes first. And so here's what we're returning. I'm going to do that same property. And I'm just going to check to see if it should come before B of that same property, like this. And if so, I return negative 1. Here's where I'm using the ternary operator. Otherwise, I return 1. So this return statement is going to return one of those values. And that will tell the sort method what to do with these two objects. And then we'll go to the next two objects and so on. The sort method knows how to handle the objects that are part of the array. So we don't have to worry about that part. We just need to determine which comes before the other. Now, in this part up here, if they are equal to one another, then we'll use the secondary property as the me mechanism to determine which should come first. Now, first, I'm going to do a simple if statement here because if, whoops, if they are equal to each other, Then we want to return a zero. Oh, can't type today. So there we return a zero. And then down here, if that zero is not returned, we have another ternary operator. We're going to do the same thing as we did down here, but we're going to do it with the second property. So let me just, I'll just copy this and paste it up there and change property. So two here and two there. All right, so now we have this new array that is sorted and I'm going to have the function return that. Now, obviously, Instead of assigning it to a variable, I could just put the return statement right here, save us another line of code. Here we have our function, but we need to see if it's working for us. So let me do this. I'm going to just call it new array, whatever is returned, and call sort array obj's. And I'm going to pass in the students array. And I'm going to do the initial sort by last name, 
and then the secondary sort if needed by first name. All right, so that's what going to be our first tester. So let's save that and let's see what happens. I'll open the console here and let me just take a look at new array. Okay, we've got an array there. Let's open it up and see what the object look like. Looks like. So the initial sort was last name, and so Jorgensen's coming before Smith, which that is correct. Both of them are like that. The two that are Jorgensen, Camille comes before Lynette. That's correct. The three that are Smith, James, Mary, and Steve. That's correct as well. So that one's doing that dual sort pretty well. Let's do another one. Let's do uh, let new array two. We'll set that equal to sort array OBJs. And I'm going to pass in students. And this time I'm going to sort by score. And then let's do F name as a secondary sort. So anyone that has the same score, they'll be sorted by their first name inside of that score. So if I save that, let's take a look at new array two this time. Oops. Let's see. Okay, so by score first, so 70, 80, 90, 90, 100. And the two that are 90, we did a secondary sort by first name. So L should come before S. So that's working for us as well. So anyway, we can see that that is working and you can play around with that. And once again, this can be improved upon. So if you have some changes or if you have a different approach yourself, go ahead and post it. Let everyone else see it that we can learn from it as well. All right, please hit that like button and subscribe. And remember the discount links to all my courses that I've included in the description. Click the bell button to be notified about new releases. I try to release a new tutorial each week. And once again, thanks for watching.